You're going to have a very difficult choice of these possibly multiple women that you think are great, fantastic, but you, at the end of the day, can only pick one. So the next uh, logical question is, how do you choose? Imagine meeting as many beautiful traditional ladies as it takes until you meet the one. That's exactly what you can win right now. Just comment, subscribe and share. The winner will be announced live right here. So Shane, what would you say has been the most challenging aspect of dating in Ukraine with Magic RT so far? Sure. Um, I would say early on, if you've done a couple video dates, trying to find someone that you have a connection with early on and, and doing some video or uh, yeah, video dates through Skype or Viber, WhatsApp, whatever it may be. Um, if you build that connection early on, be aware that you might meet somebody here that you didn't build much of a connection with and you'll find yourself then having potentially two, maybe three women who you are very interested in. Um, and then you're going to have a very difficult choice of these possibly multiple women that you think are great, fantastic, but you, at the end of the day, can only pick one. Yeah, that's a huge point, Shane. Thanks for pointing that out. Um, you know, that's why traditionally we've never done, you know, dating in a distance. Now we call it, you know, unlimited uh, contacts or unlimited real connections because of COVID. Mm -hmm. um, allowing guys to meet ladies, you know, before they come, which you did. Sure. With your favorite lady, right? Mm -hmm. um, and because this is inevitably what can I would say 50-50 chance that it happens. You know, you come, especially if you have a number of other dates, you meet somebody that you're more interested in, more attracted to. As a man, if we're more attracted, mm -hmm. generally we're more interested. It's hard to ignore sure. attraction. Right? Absolutely. So then what do you do? Uh, you've invested all this time, might be months, you know, uh, in the lady and now you're interested in somebody else. Now, on the flip side of that, Gary and Elena just got married on August 8th this year. Mm -hmm. They were a first date on Skype. Mm -hmm. We only met one lady and wow. they just got married. Eight months on Skype, he came, proposed in a three-day weekend. Wow. Yeah, and they've already, they got married on August 8th and they've already adopted an eight-month little girl. Oh, wow. Yeah, That's so awesome. It can happen fast. So, kind of the luck of the draw. It's, it's good, but this is what can happen. So that's kind of sure. what happened for you or what's your situation? Uh, I had one woman I was uh, interested in talking to before I came. We talked for approximately about four to six weeks. Um, everything has gone very well. Uh, for me, I'd already pre-booked my trip before I started talking to her. As it turns out, once I started talking to her, that my trip was going to end while she was also on vacation. So uh, thankfully, I was able to adjust my trip and add on two more days uh, to meet her. So I actually had a small date with her yesterday and one more date this evening before I fly back home, uh, just to hopefully get to know her a little bit better. Uh, but she and I have a very good connection um, from before, and it, and it seems to be pretty good here. Uh, but once I got here, another woman I'd only done one video date with um, she came in from out of town, a town called Dnipro, and uh, she uh, took a lot of effort out of her time, took off a couple extra days to spend with me, um, and that's really turned into a, a pretty good relationship as well. So I feel like I'm in a good position, but it's tough where I have two women I'm very interested in, um, and I'd like to see where things go, but I can only pick one at the end. So that's where I'm currently at as of today. So the next logical question is, how do you choose? Exactly. How, how do I choose? <laughs> so it's a question to me. I, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what's your advice? You know, really, it's a tricky question because on the one side, you know, it's good to have options because, frankly speaking, these relationships here, because of the cultural difference, the language difference, the mindset difference, they're fragile. Mm -hmm. And they can just, like that, it's gone. Mm -hmm. And it happens. Sure. You know, it happens a fair bit with clients. And then, you know, you're left at home empty handed. So that's the problem if you just focus on one relationship with one lady. On the flip side of that, these ladies, they're kind of like a hound dog, you know, mm -hmm. in terms of smelling um, a guy that's chasing another skirt. You know, mm -hmm. fact, there's an expression in Ukraine he who chases two rabbits catches none. Yep. And makes sense. So you got to be careful about that. That's the, the, the flip side of it, you know. How do you pull this off and not get caught? Mm -hmm. you know? um, because, you know, you've paid a lot of money. This trip ain't, is it cheap? Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's a big investment. It's a, it's a journey. 
right? That and it could be that the uh, relationship with either of them or both could fail due to learning more about them over the following months. So I'm not the kind of guy who wants to chase three, four women at a time. That's not my personality. That's not what I want. I'm here to find love, find a wife, uh, and have kids. Um, so I'm very much for the serious relationship. I'm not here to play games. Um, but yeah, I also need to make the best decision for myself because this is, in my opinion, a lifelong commitment uh, that I'm that I'm making here. So I got to try and uh, weigh all my options and see who I think will be the best partner for me. Yeah, it really is walking a tight road. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what I encourage guys is as soon as you possibly can, you know, but when you're sure, mm -hmm. but, you know, when you come to that place of saying, yeah, I can see a future with this lady, you know, we've been communicating for a fair bit of time because this particular lady you're talking about, you, you've had about a dozen dates with her. Right? Here in Ukraine, yeah. She took off almost about a week uh, to spend with me, which was totally unexpected, especially being from out of town. Um, and from what I've heard from Match Guarantee that this was a unique situation. So um, I was totally shocked and surprised pleasantly because we really hit it off. But having six weeks roughly of talking with this other woman uh, and then two dates in person versus just one video date and then like 12 dates with this other woman in person, um, they are different, but I also have quite a bit of time with both of them in, in that aspect, so it's going to be difficult. Well, it's a good problem to have. Yeah. I'd rather be in this problem than having uh, nobody I'm really certain with while leaving, so I'll, I'll take this position. Nonetheless, it's a problem. Yep, absolutely. You could say to one of the ladies, you know, it's an option, listen, uh, I enjoy getting to know you, um, I'm really looking forward to continuing with you, but I, you know, I have a very busy life back home and I you know, focusing on this, this, and this. I would like to just kind of put our relationship on hold now, you know? Sure. And come back and continue, mm -hmm. you know? And that way you're able to focus on the one lady. Mm -hmm. And then by the time you come back, hopefully you've, you've decided. Sure, I think that sounds like good advice and probably how I'll uh, proceed once I know which one to go forward with. Well, I wish you luck. Well, <laughs> well thank you. So your two mm -hmm. top choices, what's mm -hmm. their level of English? I wouldn't say fluent, but I would say pretty close. Uh, they definitely can hold a, a, a regular conversation very easily, um, and probably once in a while they'll ask, I don't quite understand that word, or they may something that has enough of an accent on it I don't understand. So every once in a while you might need to pull out Google Translate and convert one or two words here or there, or have them repeat the question, or I might need to rephrase the question uh, using some different words in English that maybe aren't as sophisticated. So. Um, Pretty much all of them have had great uh, English level that you can have a conversation with, um, and only two of them I went on dates with were to the level you'd need either an interpreter or uh, using like Google Translate. So mm -hmm. you didn't have uh, our professional translator on either of those two dates? Uh, I did on the second one. In the second one, we went for a nice long walk, went over the bridge, saw some sights, um, and that went very well. Uh, the translator was, was great. She was able to um, uh, explain things uh, from both sides, whether I maybe said something that wouldn't translate perfectly for her. Uh, she made it very easy and understanding uh, for both of us. Who was your translator? Uh, Luba. What did you think of Luba? Uh, great. She's actually been my coach uh, before I got here, so it was nice to meet her in person as well. Fantastic. Any words about uh, Luba? Uh, she's fantastic. Tries to give her honest opinion. Um, easy to talk with. Great lady. I'm surprised she's single. She mentioned she's not uh, married at the moment, uh, but uh, great lady, and uh, I'm glad she works for your company. Thanks. I know she'll appreciate that. She's, sure. Uh, I would say our star coach. Uh, in five years. Mm -hmm. uh, she mother ducklings all of her clients. Mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, I would agree. Yeah, she's always on Skype to ask answer questions usually within 15 minutes. It's mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. yeah, no, she's been fantastic. I've had a great experience with her. Uh, before I came over here, I did have one woman who brought something up I thought was a red flag. I immediately got match guarantee involved. Uh, they quickly resolved the issue. Um, and uh, um, gave great advice. So uh, they were very quick to respond when I thought something was wrong. Joe, should I be concerned that these women are trying to use me for a citizenship? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>